Dog is a story about an army ranger, Jackson Briggs, who finds solace in a very unlikely companionship with a Belgian Malinois named Lulu. Jackson Briggs was an optimistic human being who, despite his struggles, traumas, and medical condition, never pitied himself. His job gave him a purpose, and, most importantly, it diverted his mind from dawdling around in the dark shadows of his past. Maybe Briggs found it conducive to overlook the void that existed inside him, because maybe he knew that those wounds had left indelible scars on him. Channing Tatum not only plays the protagonist, Jackson Briggs, but has also co-directed the film with Reed Carolyn. It's fascinating how sometimes you can speak so much without actually saying anything. Jackson Briggs had no clue that his life was going to be changed by a canine. He met Lulu by coincidence. He understood that he was not the only one suffering from the repercussions of the war. There was this traumatized four-legged symbol of perseverance and loyalty, who had given everything it had. Lulu was in a desperate state, just like Briggs, and both didn't know how to deal with it. Dog opens with Jackson Briggs having a seizure. He experienced those quite frequently. He had accepted it to be a part of his life, like many other war veterans. He works in a food joint, but it seems like he wants to go back to being a ranger. He makes a call to Black Canopy Global Security and asks them about the status of his application. He had applied to go to Pakistan, but the issue was that a soldier with a history of brain surgery couldn't be sent to a war zone. Though he had arranged for a medical certificate, it needed to be certified by a commanding officer. He had called his commanding officer a lot of times, but till then hadn't got any reply. Briggs gets a call from Captain Jones, whom he had been chasing to get a recommendation. Jones informs him that Riley Rodriguez, a ranger who served with them in the war, had been in an accident and was no more. It wasn't like Briggs didn't know what loss was, but every time it made the crevasse inside him a little bigger. Maybe he was waiting for that day when the cracks became so big that they engulfed him. Until that time, he had to live. Briggs meets Captain Jones and asks him why he was stalling him and not certifying his medical history. Captain Jones tells him that he would certify his medical history as being clean if he escorted a military dog to Riley's funeral. Riley Rodriguez was the handler of a dog named Lulu, and for his funeral, Riley's mother had requested the presence of the hero dog with whom Riley had spent most of his time on the battlefield. The catch was that Lulu was in an unstable situation. The dog was traumatized and had become violent and uncontrollable. Lulu had sent three guys to the emergency room and had to be driven to Arizona as she was not in a condition to fly. It was decided that the vets would put Lulu to rest once the funeral was over. The journey begins with Lulu muzzled up inside a cage in the back of Jackson's car. He gets an idea about what he has signed into when his ambitious plans of getting laid are spoiled by the troublesome and finicky canine who would just not let him be. Jackson tries to make the trip less lonely by talking to Lulu, as if she understood everything. But Lulu had other plans. It somehow manages to unleash itself and jump out of the car. Following her trail, Jackson ends up in the house of a paranoid old man who hits him with a horse tranquilizer and captivates him. The old man was high on edibles and kept making crazy conspiracy theories. His wife tells him to apologize to Jackson and let him go. Jackson unties himself and goes inside the house to see that the old man's wife was gently caressing Lulu and feeding her with her hands directly. The dog isn't showing any traits of being violent at all. The old lady tells him that she had these intuitive powers that allowed her to know what the dog wanted. She tells him that Lulu needs a comfortable mattress to sleep on, among other things. Next thing we know, Jackson Briggs pretends to be a blind man and goes to a five-star hotel and asks for a room to fulfill Lulu's demands. He says that it is his tried and tested formula. A blind army veteran always gets a room for free. The hotel workers took his bait and gave him a room for free, as he had expected. But an undeward situation arises, and Jackson's cover is blown. Lulu sees a man clad in thaw mostly worn by people from the Middle East. Lulu had been taught during the war to attack anybody wearing that. It chases the man in the five-star and attacks him. Briggs is taken into custody, and charges of assault and racism are put on him. 
he pleads with the officer in charge and gets out of the prison. He decides to take Lulu to meet her brother Nuke, who was living with Noah, who also hailed from the army and had fought to get custody. Does Jackson Briggs keep Lulu? Jackson Briggs knew of only one way of leading his life, i.e., by staying in the game. He didn't know how to end his misery. When he talks to Noah, he gets to know that once even his dog, Nuke, was in a deplorable state like Lulu. But eventually, he became so stable that they could trust Nuke with their kids. For that to happen, there was only one condition. A tumultuous past had to be obliviated, and things that were tightly fastened to the impulses needed to be unlearned. Noah suggests that maybe talking to a friend or a therapist would give him a way out. But Jackson Briggs was too uptight for that, and asking for help was something that he associated with weakness. He scorns the alternatives provided by Noah as well. There is a sort of paranoia, a restlessness that was visible on Jackson's face as soon as anybody started talking about his disconsolate self. He felt vulnerable and often tried to escape the situation. He attends the funeral together with Lulu and then goes to the military facility to hand over the canine. Just then, he had a change of heart. He didn't feel right giving her up. He goes back and takes Lulu with him. He files for his legal custody and gets it eventually. Lulu and Jackson Briggs were similar in more than one aspect. Jackson Briggs was going through trauma and a medical condition. He had become distant from his own family, wife, and child. He didn't think that he had a life outside the military. He didn't think that satisfaction and fulfillment were notions that were meant for him. But being with Lulu changed his perspective. Briggs was a man of few words. Expressing his feelings was something that was alien to him. But he writes a poem for Lulu. He found an ally who had been through the same ordeal. Somewhere they both understood each other and filled those wide open crevices that once they thought would engulf them completely. Why Briggs calls Lulu Dog instead of her name, despite knowing her name and being acquainted with her prior to Rodriguez's death, Briggs opts to call Lulu Dog for the majority of the film. This is likely because Briggs doesn't want to become attached to Lulu, who is scheduled to be put down after she attends Rodriguez's funeral. His refusal to call her by her name also reveals how emotionally closed off Briggs really is, unwilling to get close enough to Lulu in the same way Rodriguez once did. By keeping the canine at arm's length, Briggs doesn't have to do any of the emotional heavy lifting or become aware enough to evolve. While he rotates from calling Lulu by her name and Og, Briggs begins to drop the ladder as the film goes on, which suggests he's finally letting her in. Briggs' relationship with Nikki, his ex and mother of their daughter Sam, is tumultuous, to say the least. Dog doesn't expand upon what exactly happened between them, but there is a lot that can be gleaned in the way Briggs conducts himself throughout the film that suggests what happened. Briggs is a closed-off person, and it's possible he pushed Nikki and Sam away to the point that Nikki kept him from seeing Sam altogether. After all, some of Briggs' behavior was toxic enough that it wasn't suitable to be around his child. Briggs was dealing with a lot, but he also didn't seem to try very hard to be open, and his inability to be there mentally and emotionally may have led to a rift between him and Nikki that affected his relationship with his daughter too. Why Lulu watches Grey's Anatomy and Dog When it comes to movies starring dogs, the animals usually have their own personalities, and it's no different in Dog. In Rodriguez's journal, he writes that Lulu enjoys watching the ABC medical drama Grey's Anatomy. It's an interesting series for a dog to watch, especially considering Lulu can know what's actually going on in the show. It's possible Lulu finds comfort in Grey's Anatomy, a show that has its fair share of chaos and uplifting storylines. Lulu probably takes solace in the viewing experience because Rodriguez, her previous owner with whom she shared a close bond, liked the show, and they would watch it together. Lulu lived a very hectic life, and Ray's anatomy was the only thing that could calm her when she was feeling unsettled. The medical drama, if nothing else, certainly knows how to tame the nerves and makes for a great comfort watch. What Og's ending really means, Briggs spent a lot of time trying to avoid pretty much everything in his life before Lulu. However, by the end of Dog, Briggs not only decides to keep Lulu, but also writes a poem about how she's changed him and made him better. 
This would have been completely out of character for Briggs at the beginning, but the ending of Dog is indicative of just how much he's changed. He's in a place where he can now be a bit more open than before, pouring out his heart and allowing himself to simply sit in his emotions for once rather than avoiding them altogether. Lulu's presence showed Briggs that he can't keep himself closed off and that there can be a life for him after his military service, he can move past his trauma and restart his life if he's just patient enough and willing to try. Saving Lulu allowed Briggs to save himself as well and to take a risk by settling into civilian life, which is something he didn't really know how to do before and seemed rather uncomfortable with. Briggs' decision at the end of Dog and Vulnerability reveal he's not ready to give up on leading a fulfilling life and all he really needed was some support.